I think I've, I've always been interested and I, I was very fortunate that I grew up in the south of the UK um, with fairly easy access to nature and there was woods on the doorstep and I used to love spending time in them and I think that's really important for um, anyone growing up that they have ac close access to nature because it kind of helps foster and develop this love of the natural world um, and for me that's really been the driving force all the way through. Um, I've, I've always been interested in trying to do what I can to help protect the natural world and I, I know that lots of other people feel the same way. I think, I think the thing that I would fundamentally say first and foremost is that this is a challenge for all of us. Everything we do in our daily life depends on nature. Like whether it's the food we eat, the clothes we wear, the air we breathe, absolutely everything. And it's a mistake for us to think that there's someone out there who is going to go and save the world. That person is us. The responsibility comes down to us, each and every one of us. And we can be that superhero, that person that steps up to save the natural world. But it requires each of us to take action. And it's amazing when you do so, how people will follow. People will, will see what you're doing and be inspired to take action. And I think, therefore, the single most important thing that we can each do is take action in our own lives because that will set a practical example. That will set an example that your friends and family will follow. Um, I've seen this in my own life. I've seen this in lots of other people's lives. And the simple act of taking small actions can have an impact. And it has an impact because of this ripple effect where it affects our friends and families. And in turn, that affects people they maybe know. Um, and that is fundamentally important, just taking action ourselves. Listen to this episode on Spotify, Anchor, Radio Public, Breaker, Google Podcasts and the Pocket Casts. And if you can wait, it's also going to be soon available on YouTube. I mean, I've always been interested in nature. Kind of Mother Nature's perfect animal, you know? Seeing Nile crocodiles and being kind of terrified. Welcome to the Nature Talks podcast.